All right, so this is the uh, factory Strybog lower by Lingual Industries. Um, I ordered this about a week ago and it's been pretty good so far. I love how it looks. It fixes a lot of issues with, that I have with the original lower. Uh, most of those just being how it looks and the fact that it's not uh, compatible with AR-15 uh, parts, such as, you know, triggers, uh, aftermarket triggers, and uh, safety selectors. Um, there are a couple issues with it, though. So, for one, you can't use the uh, original Strybog trigger in it. If you try to, it doesn't fit. You can actually see... Oh, maybe not. Come on, focus. Right there. It's barely picked up. There you go. Uh, it actually scuffs pretty easily, so just by trying to put in the Strybug trigger, it scuffed the bottom right there. Um, it's not injection molded nylon or uh, CNC nylon, like I thought. I didn't really read the description, uh, so I guess it's my fault. <clears throat> uh, so because of that, it's actually... Pick it up. Come on, focus. Uh, you can see it's actually pretty aggressive in the texturing. Um, it's it's a little weird. Like you feel it, and you're like, I don't know. You, you just you're not too confident in it. It almost feels kind of soft, like almost spongy. You know, like I can uh, I can probably demonstrate right here if I run my nail across it. Yeah, it's. It scuffed it up a little bit, probably won't pick up on camera, but um, you can probably see these ones yeah, right there, and right there. So those actually came out, out of the box, um, even though it was covered in bubble wrap and in a plastic bag and the box wasn't damaged at all, it still had a couple scuffs on it. Um, and again, even just installing a trigger you know, messed it up, so it kind of sucks because that means that just from normal use, it's going to get pretty messed up. I mean, you can already see like right there, even though it's not focused, you can see the reflection. There's quite a, quite a couple spots where, uh, where it's already getting dinged up. Yeah, look at that. I mean, just from installing the, the safety select, the mag release, and the, the bolt catch, it's already messing it up. But I mean, I, you know, if you take care of it, I guess it's not that much of an issue. Um, I don't know, it just sucks spending $150 and, you know, your new lower is already scuffed up. That's that's pretty crappy. Um, I'm not sure why he didn't get it injection molded or CNC it. Maybe it was cheaper to, to outsource it uh, for the multi-jet fusion. Maybe he didn't expect, you know, a lot of people to buy it so he didn't want to spend the money on uh, injection molding or any of that I, I don't really know but it kind of sucks i was expecting it to be you know the same quality as the uh the magpul grip but yeah it's just uh, it, it sucks because it's like i love it so much but that's like the one thing the one thing is that it's just i don't know man i'm not i'm not looking forward to, get, to getting scuffed up over the years um but aside from that i mean it fixes like every issue I had. Um, you see, you can you know put a different grip on it. Got all these standard AR-15 stuff. So the standard AR-15 safety select. Uh, you know the the new hammer and uh, trigger group. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of recovering from a cold, so my throat's a little messed up still. Um, but aside from that, you can see inside. Looks pretty good. You can see like uh, some layer lines, I think. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm, I'm assuming that's from the, the multi-jet fusion process. Um, but overall, the fit's pretty good. It's, I mean, that's like it's rock solid. Um, I did say it's it feels a little spongy, but I mean it, it doesn't like. I don't know if you can really see that. It it's pretty good. I mean, th these, this is a pretty thin part, you know, so seeing that flex a bit isn't too concerning, but yeah, it, it feels a little, a little fragile, strangely enough. Um, 
I guess time will tell. Uh, they do fill in the sides here, so if you like to put your pins on the other way, I, I don't know if people do that or not, but I'm, I mean, you can with, with these ones, uh, with the original, so. If you like to do that, then you won't be able to with this. Uh, you can only put them on, on the right side. Um, but yeah, I mean, aside from that, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, haven't had any issues with it. Uh, actually, there is one more thing. So the the safety and the trigger group and all of that went in fine. Uh, the pins were also actually pretty easy. Uh, thank God for like the one video on YouTube where the guy shows how to take them apart. Uh, you just, you can take, actually just take a punch and then hit your pins out and it doesn't damage the little wire in here. Um, the one thing that is a little off about this is, oh man, please focus. Uh, your mag release right here, there's, it's actually a little off. So you see that there, it looks good, but when you push it out, it actually hits the plastic. I'm not sure if you can hear that, that double like click. But uh, it does actually hit the plastic there, and it's you know just a tiny bit, but it actually does put enough pressure or friction on it that it's it's kind of hard to do with just your one finger anymore. You kind of have to I don't know use your uh, your middle finger or something to press it. But I guess you know that's not too big of a deal. Maybe you could get in there with a file or something if if you really don't like it. Uh, but yeah, I mean overall, I'm I'm. Pretty pleased with it. I do. I do wish there was injection molded or something. Um, I mean, for one hundred forty dollars, that's you know, like come on. But I mean, I understand costs, and uh, I, I've checked into outsourcing, you know, for getting parts made myself, and it's not not exactly cheap. So I mean, there's obviously limitations with what it can do. But yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Can't really think of anything else to say, so I mean, I mean, I guess that's it. All right, uh, thanks for watching.